previously on Hunted. Jess, Jess, stop. Yeah, I think it was him. All dressed in black, big burly guy. 18 ordinary people became fugitives. Come on, let's go, let's go. They are being tracked down by an elite team of hunters, including a forensic psychologist, cyber hackers, and an intelligence team. The fugitives can run. Don't get them, Delta. Oh, my God! They can hide. I'm not going down with anything. But they're going to have to hide well. Yes, you go. Your time on the run is over. Because we're going to be just around the corner. <laughs> with four teams in the bag. Ah! Courtney, the time of the run is over. You have been hunted down. HQ turned their focus to Karen and Brittany. It's time for us to get a little bit more aggressive with our inquiries. While the discovery of a code message from Starfy. Starfy's my neighbour, and I don't know where he is. Saw ground hunters dispatched to their potential hideout. I have a warm and fuzzy feeling about this one. Stop! Stop! You've been hunted down! Now, with 12 fugitives on the run. The race is over! Can they evade capture? Oh. So there should be a house, obviously, on the reverse side of the church. Ground Hunter Team Alpha are en route to a converted church in Newstead. That's it. Yeah, that's it there. That they suspect is harbouring fugitives, Starfy and Matt. HQ, HQ, this is Alpha, we have eyes on. Yeah, roger that. Come on, guys. This would be absolutely incredible. On the run, <laughs> Starfy and Matt have been helped by close friends, Catherine and Shane. So welcome to your van. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Who have organised a van to use and connected them to accommodation in a converted church. But shortly after parting company with Starfy and Matt, Catherine and Shane were visited by ground hunters. Oh, hello. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Where they discovered critical aspects of Starfy and Matt's plans. Can I just ask you about this note you've got on the fridge? We need the church. Response, blessed be Staffy. You should be looking at the church now, mate. I believe the house is the brick one to the rear. Yep, that's the church. We've got a male, male mate, mate of the right age group in a grey shirt. He does have a beard. Mate, I'm going to pull into that straight away because if it is there, mate, he's just watched us drive past. If they're on foot around the area, we're going to get them. Although we might have a possible identification of the fugitives. Oh, these fugitives are not escaping us. Mate, you're cleared hot to go into anywhere you need to go. OK, mate, fire it up. The case case is Alpha. We are approaching the property on foot. This could go, actually go, be there. Go, go, go! Come on! We're approaching the target. <gasps> is it them? Is it them? I'm Jason, mate. This is Michelle. Hi, how you doing? How are you? Is there anyone else here at the moment? No one that I know of. No one that you know of? <laughs> no dramas. Do you mind if we have a bit of a quick look through? Yeah, go for it. Cheers. I'll just leave you with Michelle. Hello, mate. How are you, by the way? Hi. Hi. I'm Michelle. <laughs> Do you know if anybody was here or staying here yesterday? Not that I know of. No. OK. What's his name? Sorry, what was your name? Kyle. So do you own this? The family does. Your family does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anyone stay here last night? Has... I know, unless someone's mum organised something, but... Your mum? Yeah. Does your mum take the booking? Oh, I'm coming this afternoon. Oh, here we go. What's this? What's this? Attached to the gas bottles at the back of the house is a lockbox code for numbers. Can we get a picture of that and send that back, please? Coming to you now on text, mate. Got it. Cheers, mate. How'd you get up here? Uh, a friend dropped me off. Oh, who's your friend's name? Uh, my friend's name is Catherine. Ah, Catherine. Okay. You know a guy named Staffy? I don't know. Staffy. <laughs> you do or you don't? I don't know Staffy. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know Staffy. <laughs> so, silly, silly question. Silly question. What's the note referring to? I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen it. You've been here all day and you haven't seen that note. It was the first thing that popped out and I could see. They've got a guy here that actually lives here and got a key. So why would they need to put a note on the door 
and use the key to get in, it's in the lock. Makes no sense. Agreed. In the lock box, I'm sure of a little present for us. So Matt and Staffy, um, their strategy before going on the run is to create this massive blanket of, of misinformation. And in all of the information we've got, there will be elements of truth. But it's got to a stage that there is so much information, we can't work out at this point what is good information and what is bad information. It's taking time, um, and it's time we don't really have at the moment. There was a note in the church um, which was a set of instructions of how to open a lockbox. It had a number of uh, questions. We knew the answers to a couple of them, but we don't know every single answer. So we're not interested in opening it at this point because it's probably a note to say, F you. Did this, get this guy say that he knows them, or...? Yeah, I think he knows who they are. We just don't know what else. Are you able to give your mum a call and ask her if anyone stayed here? Yeah, can we do that now? Yeah. What's your mum's name? Robin. Robin. Hello, Robin. My name's Michelle. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks, Michelle. What can I do for you? I'm just actually trying to find out whether two males, Daffy and Matthew, stayed last night or the night before or in the last couple of nights? Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. Um, That'll be a yes. They may have visited there, but I don't think they stayed overnight. Someone put a uh, sign on the front door for them with some information, so we're, we'll assume that they probably did stay. Would that be a fair assumption? Catherine did contact me and said that she would leave a note, but I don't think she stayed the night. I think she just passed through. Robin, did she talk to you about why they may need to stay here at all? No, she just said they were on a mission. <laughs> they certainly <laughs> are on a mission. And we're on a mission to try and find them. <laughs> This is just a wild goose chase yeah, that's happening chase behind the scenes. The yeah. yeah, I agree, mate. It all just seems a bit neat. Like, we go to Catherine's house, there's a note there. It leads us to the church. We get to the church, there's another note. It all just seems a bit contrived. She, they know we're going to go into her house and how convenient to have the codes on the fridge. I think this is an elaborate plan yep. to take us off their scent. Let's have a cup of tea, cheer ourselves up, get back to the board here and have a look at who we can go with next. Let's refocus elsewhere. Let's 100%. wait for them to stick I'm their head against the parapet all again. the way. Ah. Bloody frustrating, that is. As Ground Hunter Team Alpha move out of Newstead, Starthy and Matt are only moments behind on approach to the church. Yeah, it's literally driving up and down the streets trying to find... Is that it, maybe? After eight days on the run, just 12 fugitives remain. Having suspended the search for Starthy and Matt, the chief can refocus resources on the other five remaining teams of fugitives. Can we look at Jacob and Robert? Anything else in relation to our hairdresser and our police officer fugitives? I think are worth considering in relation to Jacob. If we think a little bit deeper in terms of a police officer, what is the reason for going on the run now? Is it just about fun? Is it about testing his skill set? Is it about, you know, messing with us? Or is there something that has gone on with Robert that maybe he's supporting him with? It, it does seem like a disparity in, in personality types. Like, one is more of a, a creative person with the hairdressing. One is more ordered and disciplined. It does seem like a strange, a strange match socially, and I think that uh, as time goes, that there's some, going to be some cracks between those two. The fact that we're able to work and earn a bit of coin is, has been great for us because we're trying to avoid using our credit card. Right, can you pop your head up, please? Today, Rob's got clients, and I am on odd jobs because I have no marketable skills. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, they have a laugh while. While the real work gets done out the back, Rob's the glory boy on the workhorse. He won't admit it. This is what he is, though. He thinks he's this. You know, we've got a law enforcement officer here. This guy knows our tricks. We've got to be thinking one step out, one step up with this guy, OK? He wants to test us. He will want to test us. He will want to taunt us. He knows our methodology. 
He will want to make a fool of us, and I don't want that. OK, so stay disciplined. And don't let him drop off the radar. All right, Karen and Brittany, we've been on now for a couple of days. I'm not happy with how long it's taking, how much resources we're putting into these two. We know the general area they're in, but where they actually are is unknown. We've got the hotline being published for cows, for Wonthaggy, Kate Patterson. We have all worked very, very hard. We just don't have a lot for it yet. I want to apply a blowtorch to every single avenue of investigation with these two in the next 24 hours. Chief, we've got Alpha team pushing out to the Wonthaggy area. Um, we're going to try and isolate them there. We might have a, a really good lead here because we know Karen and Brittany stayed with a local contact, Ross, and Team Alpha visited his house and actually saw that he's got CCTV. So we put a request in to find out footage from the camera. So I'm really confident we're going to get the feedback of that today. OK, this could be fantastic. So I want to see us nail down Karen and Brittany in the next 24 hours. We've been very lucky. Send it out to the universe. So our plan for today is to walk to the bus station and catch a bus to Cowes. Feeling really nervous about the whole trip today, knowing we're in a big risk, getting on public transport and moving location. Well spotted. OK, let's just wish we get through, through today. today. <laughs> Ready to go. wish. <laughs> just today. <laughs> Ben, we yeah. have CCTV footage from Ross's property. I've awesome. hopped in the share drive now from 8 o'clock till 10 a.m. this morning. This is available. So timestamp is 9.47. Yep. Right, this should and could lead us and bridge the gap from this morning. Yeah. Here we go. That's them. You got any audio on that? No, that's all we've got there, Chief. There's a bit of weight in that bag. When you look at the structure of the bag here, a fair bit of weight there. They're not going to be hiking too far. You're not going to set off on a 10k walk carrying something that heavy and, and packed. It does also suggest, I guess, that this is probably a move out of one thaggy if they're packed and saddled up and got everything with them, rather than we've seen them before on footage without the bags. Yes. They're settled for a couple of days. This time, bags on, they're off. Yeah. But we've also got the um, wanted posters up all the way around that town. Yeah. So they might have even seen one of them posters this morning, in which case they'll be getting on the first route out. Let's double check that time, that schedule. Uh, yeah, approaches to cows. She's getting here a bit more. Yeah. I'm not taking my backpack off yet. Because, oh, oh my gosh, that was a journey. It's definitely a journey. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. After an hour lost on the streets of Newstead, Starthy and Matt are finally arriving at the church. Yes. Unaware Woo. that their safe haven has recently been visited by the hunters. Oh my god, that's it. There's a TV antenna, Matt. <laughs> and maybe even pull onto the actual road road, drive up a little bit, park around the corner. I don't want to come across hunters on foot, on bike. Parachuting. Parachuting. <laughs> Go for a bit of a walk. It does look like the church has a rear entrance. Might be a good option to approach from the back. Yeah. As they enter the grounds, Starthy and Matt meet the property manager, Robin, who spoke to the hunters earlier. I'm Starthy and this is Matt. We're the, we're the fugitives. <laughs> I'm Robin. Hi, Robin. Files, Mum? Yeah. So um, I had to I want a piece of here. Sure. <laughs> Asking me all sorts of questions. I said, look, I don't know. You know, I've just sort of heard that they might be um, staying here. And, and then there's a lockbox. 
Is she not? Yeah. She's asking you all about the pose left on the front door for you to get into the lockbox. You know who it was? There was a girl, a guy. I think we might reevaluate our options because yeah. if they're onto us here, we might need to head elsewhere. Oh, that's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works, hasn't it? I think, yeah, the close calls are getting closer and closer, and hunters have already found the church, so they are probably onto the van as well. Yeah. On the positive note is that yeah. we got lost around town and did those laps because that close call could have been closer. Could have. But right now, we've got to get our shit and keep moving. Worried that the hunters may be looking for their van, Starthy and Matt decide to leave on foot. I think it's too risky to stay around here. We've got to do what we've got to do. Knowing that our contacts have been compromised, it's, I guess, making me a bit paranoid now. It's just straight into flight mode again. Oh, hello, backpack, my old friend. No. <laughs> Who can we trust? Who does have our best interests at heart? It's, it's becoming more and more evident that we just need to rely on ourselves, and as we get further into it, we can't really trust anyone. It feels like the only time we're safe is when we're on the move, right? We're not safe until we make it to the end. In Wonthaggy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Karen and Brittany have just discovered wanted posters at the bus station where they are waiting for a bus to take them to Cowes on Phillip Island. And take the other one down. Take the other one down. Just sit down. Just sit down. Oh, it's been here. I'm really hoping this lady isn't Googling. She keeps looking. I think the hunters are here. You've got the money? You've got the money. Hi. Hi. Could we get um, two tickets for cows, please? Two tickets all the way down? Yes, please. So it's 3.58. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. So we are. Thank you. That seriously gave me a heart attack. I was not expecting that. Not at all. How did they find us, babe? Like, how did they find us down here? No, sir. Such really shit photos. Oh my gosh. Don't let the camera see. <laughs> this is <gasps> Look, it's all over Woolworth. Oh my, oh my god. They saw us in Woolworth. They are not two steps behind, babe. They are on our butts. I don't think we should stay on Phillip Island. Let's get off. Yeah? That might be better. Yeah. yeah I feel better at doing that. Yeah. You walk straight through the car park here. Yep. yep. Straight across, there's a Findlay Street, which is directly across. Findlay Street, yep. Straight ahead, turn left and go to the jetty. Oh, awesome. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. Bye. That was so nice of him. Hey, CCTV on the toilet, so let's cross over. Yeah. Oh, we've got a missed call on the tip line. Let's have a look at this. Hey, Graham. Uh, it's Ben. How are you? Good, mate. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you, mate. Um, thank you so much for your message. I've just picked it up. Um, was this with regard to Karen and Brittany? Yes. Fantastic, mate. What, what, was. what have you got for us? Well, I, uh, I drive the local bus between Wontaggy and Cowes, North Island. OK. So I, had the, I had them on the local bus from, uh, from Wontaggy across the Cowes to catch the uh, Stony Creek Ferry. Do you know what time that was? 10.43, we left one baggage. Yep. And we arrived at the house at about 11.45. OK, and, the, and you're, you're pretty certain they wanted to get a ferry over yep. to Stony uh, Creek? Ask, ask me directions, yeah. Right, what, what were they wearing, buddy? They had backpacks on. Alpha, Alpha, Chief. Chief, this would be Alpha. Can you make your way directly to Cows? We have information that Karen and Brittany are just in the area. Over. Let's go, let's go, let's go! go immediately to the ferry terminal. Yeah, right, right.
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. If we could come to the operations table. Yeah, so we had a great result with Karen and Brittany. We had a uh, local bus driver contact us on the hotline. We've got Hunter Team Alpha headed towards Cows to go and pick them up. So I think Karen and Brittany are well within our sights. So let's just keep the rage and we'll take them out of this game pretty quickly. But we still also need to remember that there's a lot of players in this game. We've got to be able to make sure that we're looking wider than just our central focus. So I know we can't target everyone at the same time, but we can't take our focus off their long game, which is all the fugitives in the bag. OK, Panit and Chris, where are we with them? Panit and Chris, um, they have been annoyingly quiet over the course of their uh, journey on the run. Be careful! <laughs> That's Eileen. Oh, she's beautiful, man. Uh, but we know panit has got a wife. Eileen again and Sam. Everyone must be missing you. Yeah, I know. I know. And his wife, Sammy, is crucial to this. If we can get anything on Sammy's car, GPS device, which we must monitor, not miss a trick there. If that starts moving somewhere unusual, that could be Sammy taking the baby to Panit and or Chris. OK, Nicholas and Lavinia, what have we got on them? Is there anything new? It would be awesome to put the cat amongst the pigeons and start to really piss these people off. No. Just to throw out there, food for thought, freezing accounts. I wonder if we can trade someone. 150 bucks for this. It's money. Yeah, but how do they know that? They're going to want to test it first, and then bam. Oh, to say you can't test it, but like... That's exactly what somebody who was swindling you would do. Don't test it. I promise you the money's there. Just give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the ATM, they put the card in, they make the inquiry to get the money out. We still get the hit, we still get the location, but they're left with no money. Good technique. Can we get financials in then and see if we can freeze these accounts for highest priority? Can we look at Sonny, Joe now and Grace? These two have been a mystery. Yeah, I need some information to hunt them. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Do we even know, really, with certainty, their relationship? We don't really understand the dynamics of the team. They have got a very similar brow line. Are they, are they related? I haven't been able to identify a familial link, but looking at their financials, there's a lot of transactions where he is paying Grace back money or Grace is paying him back money. Grace Avery, IOU, Grace Mackers, Grace Gelato. I thought they may have been a couple, but their financials indicate that this is a very transactional relationship. I would describe Grace and I's relationship as like a married couple. Are we, is this slopey? Are we gonna be comfortable with this? Yeah. Grace says brother and sister, but I think married couple. Married, but like 35 years married. You're not gonna get perfectly level ground on a campground. You can't find anywhere flatter? There's nothing physical going that way. Ah, <sighs> at the pole. Come on, cheer up. I think we have a really, really good chance of winning this. Certainly. I think our determination is like 95% of it. Oh, well, at least they're out of sight for the hunters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the main objection, really. Objective. Objective. <laughs> I will get it right. Grace and I, I think we're the underdogs that people don't believe in us. I've never won anything in my life. I do want to prove people wrong, because I've always been, like, the crappest person at the sport or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I know. Sad. It is sad. That just goes down like that. But, like, I think this is our time. I can, I can feel it. Uh-oh. I hope that's a hunter. Oh, she's got another match. She's on dating apps, and so I was, I was combing through to see if she was using Grace is on dating apps? Yeah, yeah. Well, that confirms my suspicion that they're not in a relationship. With Sonny, Joe and Grace flying under the radar, a team of cybersecurity experts have started combing through their digital devices and accounts. Oh, why is the screen sticky? People obviously spend a lot of time on the devices, and that includes a wealth of history and information that people might not necessarily think exists. There's a lot of forensic artifacts that are made on computers and phones that allow you to glean a lot more information beyond just the, the surface layer. So I could pull back text messages that were deleted. So it's a, it's a great boon for us, because obviously we can get access to information that they thought was important enough to hide from us, um, but it's not actually hidden. I love how they tried to cover their tracks in some areas and then just forget to cover in other aspects. Mm -hmm. 
I said they're either the best or the worst. Mm -hmm. On uh, Grace's device, we could get that fully processed and indexed and easily searched. From that, we could get a lot of conversations between the pair. And for Sonny Joe, we, we focused a lot on his online accounts, since he primarily was using uh, Facebook Messenger and email to communicate with people. Through our review of uh, Grace and Sonny Joe's accounts and devices, we could see that right up until the point that they went on the run, they were laying out a lot of plans uh, in places all over Victoria. Do you think Sonny Joe and Grace are like this stupid to leave all of this in their messages? Like, kinda. <laughs> We're not exactly chasing Jason Bourne here, are we? Like, here's their clear, like, car, like, hire that they want to do in the exact, like, pickup locations and stuff. Like, do you think it's a decoy? Maybe. Don't look up. Where are they going to land it? No, but it's not about landing it. They could just be looking for the fugitives. Yeah. Camping or what so, and then they get down to send the cars. I just hope that they're looking where we've put the all the fake numbers and voicemails and all that stuff that we've done, like. I... <laughs> That's where the chopper should be. We didn't call anyone, we didn't call anyone in Ballarat. Exactly. Um, I've got a pretty interesting update in regards to Sunny Joe and Grace. We actually have a confirmed booking for today in Morwell, and Morwell does fit one of their theoretical timelines of what they were searching for where they wanted to stay. We've called, like, a lot of places out of the areas we're going. And we just, when people answered, we just left the voicemail running. So, you know, like, the call looks like it was five minutes or so. Called car rental places yeah. as well. Like in Port Ferry and Mo and other places. Called them, did the voicemail, sent emails off as well. And then I would send that link to Grace and then deleted the email. So it's in our, like, deleted messages. So they'll be like, oh, they deleted it. Oh, we found it in their deleted emails. They didn't delete the emails from their delete box, whatever that's called. So they'll think that we're, like, dumb. But we did that on purpose. Not that dumb. Ground Hunters, Ground Hunters, this is headquarters message to follow. We would like to send Bravo team heading eastbound to Morwell, where we are on the trail of Sonny Joe and Grace. Bravo, that's a good copy, Ben. We are one hour, 47 minutes out from Morwell. I just want their time wasted to the map. Love the hot lead. Feeling you get when you're chasing a fugitive mate on a hot lead. Like. Just follow up dead leads. Let's get them. Good luck to you. Yeah. After eight days on the run, six teams of fugitives remain at large. And while the hunters investigate a string of bookings made in Morwell in the Gippsland region, Sunny Joe and Grace are 260 kilometres away on the outskirts of Ballarat, bringing them close to another team who have so far eluded the hunters. Jake and Robert, do we know what they're up to at the moment? Um, Jacob and Robert's devices are very sparse, so I would like to see if I can't do some magic with pulling down backups, but other than that, from the cyber angle, not, not a lot of leads generated. No social media since they did that post at the Thousand Blessings Cafe yeah. where they got the coffee. So we don't know where they're going to pop up next. I think we're all in agreement that these will pop up at some point and, you know, even if we don't get anything for five days, I think they'll give us a hand at some point and we might be best putting resources elsewhere. Especially considering they've already done it before. I think there's going to be a lot more social media action, yeah. potentially gloating. Yeah. And they could make a mistake then. In Ballarat, there. riding high after earning some much-needed funds at a local right. salon, Jake and Rob now have time for their favourite hobby, taunting the hunters. I had to do a quick change and change my hair just so they don't clock any of my um, disguises. Myself and Jake, we're both quite cheeky. A lot of our game plan is taunting the hunters throw a little bombs out there and give them the runaround. As Jake has said, hunters wouldn't want to go out in the rain. So we're doing it, we're choosing now to do it. What I said was, a good copper never gets wet and look at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
I'm going on the run to prove that I am smarter than the everyday criminal, really. As a police officer, I've spent the last eight years trying to capture people that are on the run. So with the Hunters, I respect what they do, but there is a part of me that loves making a fool out of them. I just think it's extremely fun, and then the best part about all of it is I'm not going to have to do any of the paperwork at the end. There's all my hair covered. Do you get the rings in? All these taunts are just to slow down the hunters, just so that we can move around as much as we possibly can, and they're stuck following up all the leads that we leave behind. Ah, right, put it away. Boom. Having taken their photo, Jake and Rob head back to the Western Hotel where they are working for their board and hope to find someone to help post their taunt. So if a couple of fugitives were trying to stir me up like the way that Rob and I have been doing, I'd be getting pretty pissed off pretty quickly. So much so that you develop some kind of a vendetta. I think that's probably what the hunters are feeling right now. We keep stirring them up and making them look silly. So, I've sent this photo off to you. Yep. If you could send it off to a friend for them to post it. Yep. Someone ideally not in Ballarat, like as far away from here as possible. Yeah, yep. um, hold off like a day or two to put it up on socials. Um, and then, what should we caption it? We've dropped a taunt without an exit plan. It's a bit of a risk because it's going to draw the hunters towards Ballarat. But as long as we sort out a lift to get us out of here, I'm feeling confident that we're going to keep getting away with it. There's nothing to suggest that the hunters are getting closer to us. Discovering wanted posters at the bus station in Wonthaggy, Karen and Brittany have abandoned their plan to stay on Phillip Island and are headed to the ferry terminal. They scared the living daylights out of us, but they didn't catch us, babe. But after a call to the tip-off line, Ground Hunter Team Alpha are also rapidly approaching the ferry terminal. They're gonna be in cows. I know it. Hi. Hi, Hi, good thanks. Good morning. Hi. Is, is this the place for, um, where we can buy some ferry tickets? Uh, unfortunately not. So oh, the okay. Ferry is not our company. Okay. Um, okay. So I can give you this brochure and then it will say the ferry times, but you can purchase the tickets on board. Oh, okay. And does it leave from here? It leaves at the end of the journey there. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Hi. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ta. We're only going to be able to get to Stony Point by the looks of it. What are we, Monday to Friday? Yeah. Fuck, like there's All not right. one till. It's not till one. What's the time? Um, 10 to 12. Should we just go down the end of the jetty? No, because there's a camera right there oh. that says police. How about we just sit here, out of the way? What does it say? Have you seen these women? Yeah, Look at your long blonde hair. Look. No crime was committed. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Look how crusty you look. I know, I look really cross. Ben, I've just had CCTV footage submitted showing Karen and Brittany at the Cows Jetty exterior. I've uploaded it onto the share drive if you want to have a look. It's Karen and Brittany. OK, Michelle, I'm just trying to call you now. HQ Alpha, go. We've got positive identification of Karen and Brittany at Cows Ferry Terminal. It looks like Brittany in black and Karen with a peachy pink top with black trousers. Both with baseball caps on as well. Roger it. Come on, girlies, where are you? Hopefully that ferry's not too much longer. We might be the only ones on it for it. Beauty, got a nice close car park. I think we're pretty good. There's only just some fishermen out there, but they could be hiding on that left yeah. side, you know, where it goes down and the ferry comes in. It was one o'clock, wasn't it? It definitely said one o'clock. It's not till three. What do you mean? It's, it's not until three. Why? It's an only an additional service between the 27th of December to the 31st of January. 
One's not coming till three. Can't wait till three. This is too late. Yeah. No. We're stuffed. Might get one of us, one of us to stay here, and then one, just one to walk out yep. and have a look, see if we can find them. One will stay here, so if they do have to come, we can literally block them in. They might see you out there and think we're both yeah, out there. I'll go out. And then we can do a blocking move. Yep, okay. I'll take a walk out there now. Cheers, thanks, out. Right, Dad. That is frustrating. Karen and Brittany have invaded us for three days. We'll keep checking the ferries, I think, throughout the day. We can go to a campsite. I think we've been chasing them long enough. Yep. Oh, seriously? Who are they? Do they know who we are? No. Keep your adrenaline pumping with unseen moments and interviews at 10play.com.au slash hunted or on the 10 Play app. OK, guys, we've got a big day ahead of us. We're at day nine. We've got six teams still out there. This is where we need to dig deep, push harder, work smarter. I'm wrapped, bro. Look at this. <laughs> Nothing good ever came from a comfort zone. My clothes are dirty now, like to the point that like, like we're starting to smell moist. We've got a long way to go. So keep that foot hard down on that accelerator and maintain our momentum. Nothing left behind, <laughs> just our nightmares. <laughs> We've got the measure of these people, I'm confident of that. we just got to remain focused. Now, I think we've underestimated Karen and Brittany. They have eluded us for a number of days and they shouldn't be able to do that. So everything focuses on them. They are our number one priority for today. We know they were planning to get a ferry yesterday at Cows. That's the last known location that we've got. What's the latest we've got on them? Chief, we've got Alpha team in location at the moment on Phillip Island. I just think if we wait in Cows and keep a low profile, we will get them come up with no sign or no trace, so we're starting to do a sweep. We're going to have a look at all the ferry terminals again, uh, especially around Cowes Ferry Terminal. That's the main one out of Phillip Island. OK. We just don't want them to get off Phillip Island, because the last two days have been hard. This has been like pulling teeth, getting onto these people, but we are very close. After misreading the ferry timetable the day before, Karen and Brittany camped overnight in Cowes. Now, anxious to leave, they are planning to take the next bus off Phillip Island. It's not that one. That one goes to Wampasaki. Whatever comes first, we jump on. I'm not fussed where we go. I'm quite happy to go wherever the bus takes us. We'll just wait. The bus will come sooner or later and we'll jump on it. So that's our plan today. Get the heck out of Dodge, and who knows where we end up. Mm. Hopefully a long way away from here. <sighs> risky sitting here. Hey? It's risky sitting here waiting, yeah. but there's no one around, so I'm OK. Stand by, guys. Tip line. Stand by. Hello, Ben. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. Good. 
Graham. Nice to spoke to you yesterday. Uh, hey, Graham. Yeah, L lovely to talk to you, mate. I just want to let you know that the, uh, the ladies are here at Cows right now as we speak. Uh, where, where are you at the moment, buddy? The transit centre in uh, Cows. The transit centre in Cows, yeah? Put your mask on when the driver comes past. He's looking very intrigued at us. He's looking very intrigued at us. Are they still, are they on their own? Have they still got backpacks and stuff like that? Yep, still got backpacks. People are noticing. Or he could have seen the signs. One thaggy. Yeah. At least we took him down at the bus stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the next bus leaves from here is going to be to Melbourne. All right, thanks, mate. I'm going to call you back no if I need anything. You're a star, mate. That's I'm right. going to call you in a bit. Cheers, Graham. You, You're a legend. Bye. HQ to Team Alpha. HQ to Team Alpha. Urgent. Urgent. This would be Alpha. Post timing you now. We've just spoken to the informant who let us know about the cow's angle yesterday. He is a bus driver. He is currently at the transit centre on Church Street in Cowes. And he is saying that Karen and Brittany are there now, looking like they're waiting to catch a bus. Do you think the hunters are close? Uh, they're on their own. They've got their backpacks, and they are at the transit centre. It's hot already. So we're literally three minutes out. Awesome. I think they're going to be quite obvious when you get in there, guys. Roger, mate. I'm going to pull up short, mate, of the transit. We're going to go in on foot. Roger that. Heads up on the screen, please. Go, go, go. Go, go. Seen any signs here, so they haven't been here yesterday. So maybe we threw them off a bit there. Makes me nervous when they slow down, but it's because the intersection's just there. Hmm. Heads up at the screen, please. Ready to support any intel. Oh, mate, we're going out on foot now. Roger that. We're just on the corner of uh, Church Street and the Main Street. Roger that. Have they got one got a white baseball cap on? Uh, yeah, a light baseball cap and a dark baseball cap, it looks like. This was yesterday, though, so this is old information. Yeah, Roger, I've got a female with a white cap, black shirt. Yeah, I can see through the fence here. Or anything like that. No, I those two bananas. That's in that. No, thank you. We got them. We've got, got them. them. We have them. Drop got positive them. ID. Positive ID. Oh, we have them. Go, go, go. Go, go. go. Oh, Brittany, oh, Brittany, oh, stay Brittany. where you are, Brittany. Brittany. Stay, 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 stay where you are, Brittany. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop where you are, Brittany. Brittany. You've been hunted down. It's over. You may as well stop. <laughs> Brittany, your time on the run is over. You've been hunted down. Yeah, yeah. We can confirm we have Brittany and Karen. Yes! 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 yes. 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 Nice try. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no more Karen and Brittany. No more. Oh, no more Karen and Brittany. I've got Karen and Brittany here, boss. Karen and Brittany, how are you? Not great. <laughs> Pretty shitty. Um, Never mind. Commiserations, uh, but if it's any uh, added bonus to you, just to let you know, you two ladies have kept us very, very, very busy for the last three days. Oh. Oh. Dude. Good job, guys. Seriously, good job. We knew we were in trouble in one day, Yeah. So. What, what makes you say that? Why did you think you was in trouble there, guys? Gave us a heart attack with the posters. <laughs> the posters. Like, seriously. Guys, congratulations. Thanks for being great sports and speak soon. Well done, guys. We got caught today. 
so disappointing. It's so disappointing. <laughs> we knew they were close. I didn't realise they were that, that close. close. But we had the best time. I wouldn't do it with anybody else. I agree. Seriously, I agree. I wouldn't have picked, I wouldn't anyone, have picked else. anyone else to do this with. With Karen and Brittany captured, 10 fugitives remain on the run in Victoria. Starby and Matt. Always feels good being on the move. I think now the plan is to try to navigate in a way Matt and I wouldn't navigate. Nick and Lavinia. Oh, well, this is hard. Well, let's have a kiss. <laughs> Chris and Puneet. Right. I'm Chris. How are you, bro? Hey, oh. Yeah, good, bro. Nice to meet you guys. Sunny Joe and Grace. Well, Grace plays very random in this ping pong. I don't know where she's getting at the board, and I think that's how we're playing against the Hunters. We're playing a very random game because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring for us. And Jake and Rob. If I paid you money, <laughs> would you top up our phone? OK, we've had a, a long-weighted hit with those two. They're now out of the game. They're FA books. That's less contacts, less resources. We've had our celebration. We've had our 30 seconds. Get back into it. Roger that, Chief. Jacob and Robert, social media post. Oh, hello. So these are the el elusive ones, Jacob yes. and Robert. Yes. Where's this? Yeah, no, that's, no. A, that's a very distinctive uh, yeah, location. Yeah, look at that. Where are you? So we had a post on Twitter with Jacob and Robert posing outside what appears to be Olympic rings and saying running rings around the hunters. So I think that's meant to stir us up a bit. But what was good was they popped their head up. We hadn't seen them for a while. Chief, we have some interesting information. Yeah. Here's a new post from Jacob and Robert, running rings around the hunters. So they've really used running the rings around in the Olympic oh, rings. Oh, yeah. They're taking the piss completely yeah, out yeah. of us. If they think that's intelligent, they're dumb. Any boast from any fugitives is really, really aggravating. They're being quite arrogant. But if they're feeling quite comfortable, then they may get a bit lax. And we can just pounce. <laughs> Where was this posted? This particular image is at Lake Wenderee, Ballarat. So they took a photo and then posted where they are? Yeah. Well, they could have moved on. This post wasn't made by them. So we know that, that they were there at some stage. We just don't know when that photo was taken. So from that, we need to send ground hunters to Ballarat. Then we can go back and work out their historical MO and get back on their trail. Egotistical fugitives are the best. Team Alpha, Team Alpha, Jury headquarters, over. Yeah, good copy, mate. Because they can't help themselves. They just want to be in the spotlight. Guys, can we get wheels up and head towards Ballarat? Part of being a fugitive is to not be in the spotlight. There is a hot lead on Jacob and Robert. Fair enough, mate. On our way. Jacob and Robert were completely off our radar, but this post has given us the information we need to get right back onto it. Who's that? Who's that? Fear. Not an ideal spot. We can be cornered. Paranoia. I haven't made any phone calls. I just don't see how they could trace us here. Desperation. My heart's pumping. We're gonna go. Move now. Move now. The hunters are getting more powerful and they're getting closer. Push the fugitives. There they are! Go, go, go! To breaking point. Will the hunters? Never say my day. Why are you shaking? Zero in. Definite intercept. I want these guys today. On their prey. I don't want to get taken out of this. 